We're Sean and Lena, and we've been backpacking across Southeast Asia for six months now. Last week, you saw us leave the hottest province in Thailand, Kanchanaburi. And now we're getting on a bus to Thailand's most historical city, Ayutthaya. The best way to get to Ayutthaya is to book yourself on a minivan bus from Bangkok. You can either buy a ticket online through one go Asia, which we would recommend, or buy tickets at the station. It costs 150 baht and it's usually an hour journey. Hi guys, good morning. We have just stopped for breakfast this morning. We're going to be hitting up all the temples, well not all the temples, a lot of temples in night time. We rented bikes, 50 baht a day. We just ordered some, God knows. Food. Yeah, we, we, noodle soup is, uh, is quite big here. Yeah, yeah. So we've ordered noodle soups. Uh, a lot of them do like, they give you like a small bowl for like cheap price, like it was like 12 baht here or you can do a big bowl for 40. We've opted for the big bowl. So yeah, looking forward to it. Gonna figure out what temples I we're gonna go we're to. I'm gonna go to Wat Maha Tat. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's on the outskirts. But maybe it might be good to go like the, to the first one and then work our way back in. Actually not. Oh, not it's not? Far. No, okay. No. All right, well, we'll check in with you guys when we get to the next temple. Actually, maybe you're gonna see this food, to be honest. Looking forward to it. Look at this. Advantages of just pointing of what you want. I've gone for this. Or the beef. Oh, that's it's classic. Good. Could be beef or pork. I think it might be pork on top. Mm -hmm. I think it's a pork one. All right, let's dig in. Ayutthaya is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was the second capital of the Siamese Kingdom and was one of the world's largest urban areas during the 14th to the 15th century. Nowadays, it's known as Thailand's Angkor Wat and is home to the famous Buddha head that's surrounded by a tree. So we just arrived. Uh, Sean's just fixing my seat because I'm a bit low. I keep doing knee highs. I think it's oh, rusted in. I think it is rusted in. Unfortunately. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Let's go. Pay in. Let's go. So yeah, we just arrived. Oh, I forgot what this one the temple was called again. Mahara, I think. Mahara, yeah. So we're just gonna get our tickets now. Uh, but this is the one that's supposed to have like the face in the tree. So mm. I'm, I'm very excited. excited. We were supposed to get up a bit earlier today. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Um, well, we got up early. We just sat we didn't around. get up early. We just, you know, had a slow morning. It's okay. That's, we've been traveling for six months, so. <laughs> Uh, we deserve a break now and then. So there's a bit more people than usual, but that's all right. You know, it's midday. What did we expect? So yeah. What are we thinking? Do we go What's for it? an all-day pass? That's for everyone. Yeah, everywhere. Hmm. Sebanina. What do you think? I don't know. Check the menu. You check on the food, man. Oh yeah, we'll have a look there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out if we should get the all-day pass for 220 baht per person or just this, do it individually. All right, let's go. We opted to get the individual pass rather than the 220 baht pass to all the temples. We only wanted to hit three temples, but if you have time or a scooter, maybe it's worth getting the full temple pass. Tomb Raider game. It literally feels like a Tomb Raider game. Wow. Wat Phra Mahatat, not sure if I'm saying that right, is Ayutthaya's most popular temple, as it is the oldest. It's located in the historical park and it is home to the famous Buddha head, which has a banyan tree growing around it, that we were able to grab some nice pictures with. So if you're looking to do Ayutthaya on a budget and have a bit more freedom with your time, then you can do what we did, and that is to rent out bicycles for the day. We paid 50 baht for the day, and you can usually hire them at most guest houses that you're staying at, or if you're only down for the day, there's loads of places that you can hire. Of course, you can also get a scooter, which will be much more quicker, but we wanted to get some exercise. 
one thing I will recommend is to bring a Polaroid when you're traveling because you can get little pieces like this. We were just saying with Sean how um, very interesting how there's no heads on the, these things. Yeah, Sean was saying it could be maybe something from war. Yeah, it definitely looks intentional, you know? Yeah, yeah. So if anyone knows why all the heads are gone and majority of the torsos, please let us know in the comments. <laughs> Sean's in the temple asking for Pokemon gyms. Listen, it's what they would have wanted. Ben's not loving. <laughs> We'll see you guys at the next temple. Uh, we're gonna jump back on these bikes and get a move on. Yeah, this, uh, we're probably gonna go to the further one out. Uh, yeah, think, yeah, 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 I'm up for that. Yeah, so it's gonna be a bit of a cycle. Cycle on our one gear bikes. <laughs> oh, but we'll, we we'll make it, but yeah, it's, it's good. All right, see you then. My brake completely snapped. Come on. Yeah, she's, she is gone. But luckily I still have a front brake. I just hope the guest house uh, don't try to charge me. I must say what I do love about Ayutthaya is that it has a giant park in the historical park, which you don't get a lot in, in Thailand. There he is. Is that Coca-Cola? <laughs> he didn't have shakes. Oh, that's right. I got right. the lemon tea. Ooh. Oh, he's got a Coca-Cola. Very nice. Yeah, this park is just amazing. We also noticed some tourists opted for a ride on the elephants. And I really wouldn't recommend this. The elephants had chains around them, and usually these kind of practices means that the animal isn't treated right. We went to an elephant sanctuary in Chiang Mai and it taught us a lot about how these animals are treated. And the elephant sanctuaries have been opening up around the country as almost like retirement homes for these animals. If you have an opportunity to visit one, we strongly suggest doing it, as it was one of our highlights in Thailand. We've actually included links to Thailand's most ethical elephant sanctuaries if you're interested. Another way to see Ayutthaya is to hire a tuk-tuk driver, which usually costs about 200 baht for an hour. But we would not recommend this because we noticed a lot of people were really rushing through the temples when they'd hired these tuk-tuks. The last way to see Ayutthaya, and the most expensive way, is to book a tour online. You can get a day trip from Bangkok where they provide you with transport, admission to all the temples, and usually a bit of food. The tours usually cost from 40 to 60 euro, depending on which one you pick. Good day. After a traumatic bike ride, as per usual from us, <laughs> we have Wat Chai. Chai Wat Ranam. Well, it's on screen. So we're at the furthest uh, Wat now. We just paid in. 50 baht again. Yeah. I will say, when you're coming in, if you're on bikes, you're going to have loads of people screaming at you. Do not go to them. They are not parking spots. Yeah. The parking spots is at the Wat itself. You'll well, see we'll show them. In typical Thai temple fashion, we've got yeah, loads of all these people out here just outside where you pull in are gonna like whistle at you and try to get you to pull into there. 
and you're getting scammed. So yeah. just go to where you see all the other bikes parked. If you're on a tuk tuk, they're gonna take you right here. Anyway, have a look at this. Don't climb on anything, essentially. Or it's like pretend the, to be ahead of the water. But like the fact that people would climb on this stuff is oh. just disgraceful. Like the fact that sign has to be up, it's just kind of the sad reality yeah. of, you know, ignorant enough tourists. So yeah, there are plenty of boat tours you can get. We opted for the bikes. We wanted to get a bit of exercise going today. And it was actually a very grand, it's a very okay cycle. Depends on the quality of your bike. Alina's bike is breaking. I only have one brake left and my bike is constantly in fifth gear. So going up hills, my pedals are almost like getting stuck. So I had to like lift myself up. Yeah, Alina's bike essentially. best area we've rented bikes in yeah for actually, for cycling yeah 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 There's yeah actually a cycle lane and all that you can follow so it is I nice recommend. yeah one of our first proper cycle lanes This temple is located on the bank of the river that's west of the city island. It was built in 1630 and is known to be as a replica of Angkor Wat. You know, this feels like a real, not real, but obviously the other temples are real, but the scale, you can really feel what it felt like to be in this temple a long time ago, whereas the other ones were so kind of lost to, lost to time that yeah it was a little bit harder to visualize what things might look like but here it's uh, it's quite easy to keep that kind of clarity oh yes see people had People don't even think to come here, but this might be the best picture. Yeah. Off this temple, hop back on the bikes, and just gonna go down to the park because and just see have if a cycle. have a cycle, see if we want to do another one. Um, the park's really nice because you can kind of see temples from um, the outside, yeah, looking in. So, yeah, we'll see what we want to do. Maybe get some food. I don't mind some food actually. Yeah, I don't know what I always want to eat. Yeah, we've had a lot of noodle soup, it seems a to be lot like of the go to dish here in Ayutthaya. This is what we're talking about. It's a lovely temple. Oh, I'll take out my megaphone and scream at people who uh, who show up to wear the clothes. It's mad. Alina, this is Alina's broken, uh, broken. Fast and furious. Yeah, you, Alina can't stop. We cycled through Ayutthaya's historical park where we got to see loads of old ruins from other temples. And then the heat was finally getting to me and we realized I need, really need to get some food. So we went to get some snacks and some noodle bowls. Wow. Yeah? Oh my god, 
so I'll try that. I think it's the best thing the soup we've had. Rich. I'm really hungry, so I think okay. I will just. We're gonna eat. Yeah. <laughs> Living his best life. What a background. I literally look like I'm in a Smurfs movie. We actually just ordered some food because we're too tired to go outside and grab is amazing. So we've been having a few grab nights while we're here. Yeah, it's been nice. Um, it's been really nice. Our next stop now is Bangkok. You know us, our favorite city. So we're gonna be chilling tonight, do a bit of ed editing. And then tomorrow morning, we're going Bangkok. 